NIU. 99% of people who ask that question do not ask it with genuine intentions. They want to know how far you've gone in life because they think that life is a competition. They're not gonna do you any harm if you pray for my success. Hey guys, stop telling people where you are. Stop telling people where you are. Because people who ask you where are you are not asking it for genuine reasons. They are not guys. They are not asking it for genuine reasons. They are asking it because they want to know how far you've gone in life. That is it. They want to know how far you've gone in life, whether you've succeeded or not. That is why they are asking. 99% of those who ask you where you are, that is exactly what they want to know. How far you've gone in life, whether you're succeeding or not. Because they think life is a competition. If you're from Africa, you are going to resonate with me very well with this one. If you're from Africa, one of the primary matrices for measuring somebody's how far, that is somebody's, whether somebody has succeeded or not, is geographical location. And that is it. Geographical location. They use where you are to measure how far you've gone. If you're in UK, they say, this guy, is, this guy has gone far, this guy has made it. If you're in Europe, say the guy has made it. If you're like in Malabo, they say he's not doing bad. Like in South Africa, you see he's a little bit fine. Like in Dubai, he's a little bit fine. That is how it works in Africa. Geographical location. Once they notice that you've traveled, you've left your country to another country that is better off than where you're coming from, there's an automatic assumption that he has made it. They don't even care to know how you're doing there. I'm not saying that asking somebody where they are is a bad question. My problem is the intention behind the question. I got a lot of messages from friends who reached out to me saying that they don't understand why each time people meet them online, the first question is, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I've experienced it myself. So you see somebody who, not, who come online, somebody I've not seen you for, for a very long time, they meet you on Facebook, the first question is, where are you? They probably heard that you're out of the country. They rush online to send you a message on Facebook. And the first thing is, where are you? They're not even trying to know how you're doing. Nobody's trying to know how you're faring. They want to know where you are. That is it. They want to know where you are. Even just pretend. Ask me, how are you first? Some people even ask you, how are you? Because some people even pretend, but they don't even know how to pretend. They'll ask you, how are you? You have not even replied that. The next question that comes in, where are you? They set themselves out. Guys, it is not your business. If I haven't seen somebody for a while, but probably a classmate, an old friend, you come online, the first thing you should do is to try to know how the person is doing. How are you, brother? How are you, sister? How are you doing, friend? It is not to know where they are. The first thing you should be concerned about is how they are doing, not where they are. Where they are can come after, maybe after three or four days. But you just come immediately, how are you? The next question, where are you? Some people don't even ask, how are you? Where are you, bro? I'm not seeing you again in the country. Where are you? Yeah, because they want to know how far you've gone. They want to know whether you have made it or not. They want to know whether you have succeeded or not. For what? I don't know. I don't understand why. We need to change our mentalities, guys. We need to change our mentality. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please, if you got value from this video, share it so that others can also get value from it. Thank you. And let the devil be hopeless. Together we go stand and divide and we go fall for the road. Yes. Even before we go notice, we're living in a world full of envy and hate. Yeah. Wait before that's when the people start to